Hi my friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Josefa and I'm so happy to see all of you. Please be sure to um, watch us each week on Thursday for a different story time and activity. Now, let's get started. Let's start with our welcome song, just like what we do at the museum. For those of you that don't know, it goes to the tune of this old man. Can you count to three with me? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see, we'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. A round of applause, my friends. Great job singing. Our book for today is called Raven, a trickster tale from the Pacific Northwest by Gerald McDermott. Have you ever seen a raven before? Let's read about this tale. Raven came. All the world was in darkness. The sky above was in darkness. The waters below were in darkness. Men and women lived in a dark and cold world. Raven was sad for them. He said, I will search for light. Can you imagine it being dark all the time? During the daytime too? Just not, not only the night? Raven flew across the valleys and across mountains. He flew along rivers over lakes. There was darkness all around. Then he saw a bit of light far away. Can you find the light with me? I see it back over there by the horizon. He flew and he flew. Can you flap your wings? Whoosh, 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 and came closer to the light. The light was at the edge of the water. The light came from the house of the sky chief and it was shining. Raven perched high in a pine tree on the shore and Raven watched. What do you think is going to happen? He saw a beautiful young girl emerge from the shining house and go to the edge of the water. She was the sky chief's daughter. She knelt and drank some water from a woven basket. Can you all pretend to slurp water with me? Raven changed himself into a pine needle. Have you ever smelled pine before? It smells really good. He fell down from the tree and floated on the water. When the girl drank again, she swallowed the pine needle. Hmm, what is this raven up to? Let's find out. After a time, the girl gave birth to a child. The child was small and dark, with shiny black hair and tiny black eyes. Who do you think the child was? It was Raven. Raven had been reborn as a child. Do you see his jet black hair? And even his beak of a nose? The sky chief was delighted with his daughter's child. He called him grandchild. He played with the boy and carved toys for him. He invited the elders to come and see the curious, wonderful child. The elders gathered in the shining house with the sky chief and his daughter. They watched the raven child crawl around the floor of the lodge. He pretended to be playing but all the time he was trying to find where the light was hidden. He saw a box in the corner of the lodge. Do you see the box? Can you find it? I 
see it right over here. The box was large. It was carved and painted with many colors. The box was bright. It glowed. And the raven child said, Gaga, like a lot of babies do. Can you all say Gaga? What do you want? asked his mother. All Raven Child said was, Gaga. And then he began to cry. What does the child want? asked the elders. Raven Child said, Gaga. He cried and he cried again. My grandchild wants the box, said the Sky Chief. The young woman placed the box in front of the raven child, but he continued to cry. <laughs> she took off the lid of the box and inside was a smaller box. She took the lid off that box and inside was an even smaller box. What do you think is inside? His mother took the lid off that box and the light poured out. Flight flooded the room and inside the box was a shining ball, blazing with light. What do you think the ball was? Any ideas? It was the sun. Give him the ball, said Sky Chief. His mother gave Ravenchild the ball. Ravenchild stopped crying. <gasps> he began to play with it. He rolled it around the floor of the, of the lodge. Gaga! Does the Ravenchild look happier now? Then he changed into a bird. Ha ha! Can we flap our wings like a bird? And then he became Raven once again. Sky Chief, his daughter, and the elders looked in amazement. Raven plucked up the ball of light into his beak and flew through the smoke hole of the lodge and disappeared into the dark sky. What do you think he's going to do with it? Hmm. Raven flew over the valleys and the mountains. He flew along the rivers and across the lakes. Raven threw the sun high in the sky and it stayed there. This is how Raven stole the sun and gave it to all the people. And why do people always feed Raven? To thank him for bringing them light. Round of applause, my friends. Well done listening to the story. Now we're going to take a look at an art object from the Met Collection. Can you all take a close look with me? What kind of designs do you see on the object? Can you try to look at all the different sides of the object? What kind of animals do you see? So the object is actually painted as a raven, and the object is actually a rattle. Can you try to picture maybe what the raven rattle would sound like? All right, my friends. Well, I really enjoyed watch, um, reading the story with you and looking at um, an artwork from the Met Collection. Before we say goodbye, we do have a fun art activity. I also actually also made a raven rattle. All you need is a toilet paper roll, um, some paper, crayons, or markers, and then I taped the front and the back of the toilet paper roll. You can use aluminum foil, you can use paper, you can also use saran wrap or tape. And inside, before you close it up, you can use um, beads, like from artwork, but if you don't have that, you can also use rice, 
or some beans. Remember not to fill it up too much, otherwise you can't really hear the rattle like this. I also gave my um, rattle some wings, just like the raven. And I used inspiration from the, um, from the raven, from the story, and from the object. You can use lots of different designs, different shapes, and different figures to create your own rattle. All right, my friends, well, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to tune in next week for a different story time and, art and activity. Goodbye, my friends.